training your voice, exploring your voice more in the spirit of, of Roy Hart Center work can be extremely helpful, no matter what kind of uh, end result you're looking for. And I think of it uh, uh, in terms of tuning our instruments. You know, musicians, before they, they practice, even before they uh, perform, they're on stage, right? And they tune their instruments in front of all the audience, right? And we all can hear them tuning their instruments. And it doesn't sound very pleasant, right? When you hear an instrument being tuned, it's like, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's not aesthetically pleasing but it has to be done. Otherwise you're gonna play the whole piece out of tune, right? And so I find that singers, especially singers, um, we, we don't have a practice of tuning our instrument. When we go to practice, uh, I've never heard an, a singer tune their instrument on stage before a classical concert, for example, like the other musicians do. But in my experience, when I would go to practice as a classical singer, I would immediately start singing toward the end results I had in mind. Even if I'm doing scales and vocalese and that kind of thing, aesthetically, I'm, I'm automatically trying to lead my voice, to control my voice, to get it to do what uh, my teachers are saying is what, what is correct. And so I find that the this space that Roy Hart work opened for me of allowing the voice to express what is what it needs to express, for me very much feels like a musician tuning her instrument. Yeah, because when when you tune an instrument, you're you're kind of you're 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 looking for balance. You use the word balance um, between a tension and. Uh, mm, uh, I guess, release or relaxation. You know, if the strings are too tight or too loose, it, it's going to sound out of tune. So when, when I uh, am practicing and I'm, I'm following my voice, I'm tuning into where my voice wants to go, what it needs to express, all kinds of sounds come out. And maybe most of them I won't even use in the performance. But what I find is that it brings my instrument back into balance. And after I go through that process of first asking the instrument, okay, what is it that you need? What is it that the voice needs? What is it that the body needs? Because as performing artists, we are our instruments. So I, I, I go on this journey of uh, satisfying the needs of the instrument first, and then I, I start working towards uh, the, the end results, if I have an end result in mind. Mm -hmm. 